Hi and welcome to the gorgeous quick guide to eyelets. Very straightforward technique, looks a bit scary. This is what we're looking to achieve. In our restful eyelet shawl kit here, you can see we're doing eyelets approximately every 20 rows. And here, this is done with a lightweight, so you can see the, the eyelets are quite far apart. It's like done with our lightweight DK yarn. And here we've got the same thing done every two rows we've got eyelets coming in in a chunky yarn so you can see the holes are much denser than they were with the um a DK yarn wide apart and then the closer together but they still look really effective so let's get going okay so I'm working on the chunky yarn here I've knit the first three stitches because in this pattern we've got an edge now you'll find in your pattern you quite often have an edge to eyelet knitting and perhaps sometimes not so if we look at the DK uh, pattern sorry the DK pattern for the shawl there the, the eyelets start within one stitch here they're starting on the, on the fourth stitch so we are literally going to take the yarn and bring it to the front so we've knitted the previous stitch we're going to take the yarn bring it to the front and then we're going to knit the second two stitches together so we're literally going to go in like this so what we've done there in effect is we've created a stitch and then we've decreased the next stitches let's do it again yarn forward knit two stitches together So watch this, watch the yarn. You can see the yarn here is creating a new stitch as you take it over. So if we decrease the next two by knitting them together, when we get to the end, we should have exactly the same number of stitches we started with. Yarn forward, knit two together. Yarn forward, the abbreviation is YF, and you may see it, see it written as yarn over or YO. Yarn over YO is the US North American terminology but it's the same technique whether it says yf or yo so we're keeping going until your pattern says to stop doing the yarn forward in this case it's at the last three stitches so i'm quickly going to knit to the end now that is eyelet knitting it's literally yarn forward knit two together but the the real fear comes when you get to the back because it looks like you've made a horrific mistake so Let's just quickly knit the first three edge stitches because they're not part of the pattern. And then I'm going to knit the first edge of our pattern, which looks normal. And then I'm going to show you the yarn over stitch, a bit of straw from the alpacas in there. And you can see it's like a gaping hole. It's quite uncomfortable to knit in a way because it looks like you've made a mistake. But just knit it and then watch. You can see here that the hole is actually what it should be, perhaps even bigger, but um, it will even out as you do the following rows. And then I'm going to show you one more. That is the gaping hole. Just knit it as though it were a normal stitch or purl it. Your pattern is either going to say knit the second row or purl the second row. I'm just knitting it just to demonstrate that great big hole. And then that is, once we get to the end of the row, your second row, your third row is going to be, that's what the first row looks like, just there where my fingers are. And eventually you'll end up with something that looks like this. Great, thank you.